So part three of our Fusion 360 tutorials, the first thing we want to do, we just created a component and it's right here. It's called one, two, three block. Now what we want to do is we want to create a basic sketch and we're going to extrude it. So this is probably one of the most basic functions of this program. And it's also a foundational function. So we have to understand how to do that so that we can do different other operations, uh, more complicated things. In order to start a sketch, I'm going to go up here under the create tab. And this very first one in the top left says create sketch. You're going to click on that it has a green plus sign and you'll get these three orange uh, uh, rhombuses. Um, you want to choose. It doesn't really matter, but I typically prefer to start on the X, Y plane, which is the one that's kind of laying on the bottom here. All right, this one, you're going to click once your grid will turn and it'll look like graph paper because now this is like drawing on a sheet of graph paper, basically. All right. And what we want to do is we want to create a basic rectangular shape. Now, there are some great tools for that. We could use the line tool and construct a rectangular shape, but that would take a little more time. We're going to choose the two-point rectangle, which is the second icon right here. Choose two-point rectangle. And it's good practice to start from your origin point when you can. So I'm going to come down here, choose the origin. Notice that I have a little blue box. I'm going to click one time, left mouse button. I am not dragging, I'm just moving my mouse. So I'm not clicking and holding and dragging. If you do that, that's gonna mess you up. So you click one time and then you can move your mouse. And I'm gonna place this rectangle in our top right quadrant to start. You'll notice that I have two numbers or two dimensions attached to it. The one on the left side happens to say 2.9936 and the one on the bottom right now says 5.7448. And if I wanted to, I could try and move my mouse very carefully and try and get those numbers really close to what I want. But the reality is, is that it's much quicker to type if I know my dimensions. So I'm going to type on that left one. I'm going to type the number one. Then I'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. That's going to toggle down to the bottom dimension. And I'm going to put in two. So just the number two. Do not hit enter. All right. If you need to toggle, just hit the top, the tab key again and it will toggle between. So I'm hitting the tab key right now and flipping between them. Whichever one's highlighted blue is which one you can type into. All right, at this point, you can hit return or enter and it will turn orange. If you use the scroll wheel on your mouse, okay, or if you spread your fingers on your trackpad on your computer, if you don't have a mouse, okay, you can zoom in. Bearing in mind that it zooms wherever your mouse is pointing to. So if I point over here and zoom, Notice it's different than when I come over here. Okay, we want to kind of zoom into the middle. At this point, you should have a rectangle that is one inch tall and two inches wide. If you've got that and it's turned this light color orange or this peach color, that means it recognizes it as a solid now. Okay, in other words, you've closed the loop and it understands that you want to do something with this space. You can go ahead and click finish sketch. Once you've hit finish sketch, you might want to come up here to your view cube. There's a little house icon. Click on the house and it's going to flip it into an isometric type view. We're going to zoom a little bit so that we can see what we're doing. Now we're going to do an extrude function and this is the quickest way to make something three dimensional. Extrude takes a two dimensional sketch like we just made and it stretches it and turns it into a three dimensional object. So if I go to the top left corner up here, you'll see the extrude button. It looks like a rectangular prism that's stretching out. Click once, and because there's one object or one shape on our screen, it recognizes that we wanna do something with that. If yours does not turn blue, if it's still that orange's color, just click inside of it when it highlights, and it'll turn blue. Now, we can do a couple things. We can drag our blue arrow up, or we can pull it down. Okay, we could do it that way, and again, we could try and drag it up until we get to our measurement that we want or we can just type it. I'm gonna type it, okay? And I'm gonna type three. And now that's exactly three inches. You'll notice that there's this little icon right here. This is called a coin. Don't play with the coin and the ring. That changes draft, all right? And what draft does, you can see it tapers the sides based on degrees. If you were a mold maker, somebody who did things like casting or injection molding, you would use this function a lot because you need to add draft to mold so that the part pops out of the mold correctly. We don't need that at this point. Once you've typed in three, okay, if I hit tab, again, it toggles, it knows I want three inch distance, or you can type it in right in this menu where it says three inches and then click okay. 